We know now details of a contract that will bring food services to the Paducah Convention Center. And the deadliest drug in America, the new report from the CDC and how it impacts our area. And rain moves in tonight. I'll track it hour by hour. 10 at 10 starts right now. WPSD Local 6, your breaking news and weather authority. This is Local 6 at 10. The deadliest drug in America. That's what the CDC labels fentanyl in a report released today. The Kentucky Justice and Public Safety Cabinet says in 2017, there were more than 1,500 deaths in Kentucky from drug overdoses. And some of those deaths happened right in our own backyard. Local 6's mm -hmm. Bryce Mansfield is digging deeper into this story for us. So, Bryce, why is fentanyl now the deadliest drug in the U.S.? Jennifer, more than 16,000 unintentional deaths happened from fentanyl across our nation in just one year. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid pain reliever used to treat severe pain in cancer patients. The CDC says it's 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine, which is why pharmacists say it is highly effective when used correctly. The flip side of that, because of its potency, it makes it more appealing to heroin and meth users. In Jefferson County, there were about 274 fentanyl-related deaths just in 2017. While it has not hit our area as hard, the people I spoke with today tell me our region is no exception. It was starting to shut down my central nervous system and I was, I was unconscious, but I wasn't, you're not aware. It's very dangerous. Dangerous, and now the deadliest. In Paducah, Bryce Mansfield, WPSD, Local 6. To read the government's full report, go to WPSDLocal6.com and click on this story. We've also learned the McCracken County Sheriff's Office needs your help finding this man. 42-year-old Billy Burkeen is wanted on charges of trafficking fentanyl in our area. His last known location was IC Avenue in Reedland. If you see him or have any information, call the McCracken County Sheriff's Office. New at 10, a local county clerk has died less than two weeks after taking office. Saline County Clerk Roger Craig died this morning. The 57-year-old was a trustee and a clerk for Harrisburg Township before winning the countywide race. Memorial services will be held Saturday at Reed Funeral Chapel in Harrisburg. We now know the details of a contract that will bring food services to this popular venue. The Paducah Convention Center Board approved the deal last week with Venue Works as the new manager of the center. Here are some contract highlights. Venue Works will supply food and beverages for the facility and the Convention Center Board will pay VenueWorks a monthly base fee of $8,000, as well as a percentage from food sales and revenue. Also, current Convention Center employees will be given a 90-day evaluation period for the potential to be hired permanently by VenueWorks. The contract does say that either party can terminate the deal at any time. VenueWorks is set to take over management of the Convention Center on February 4th. Allow teachers to carry concealed guns on campus, install intercom systems in classrooms, and keep all classroom doors locked. These are some of the recommendations by a panel investigating February school shooting in Florida that killed 17. The panel must submit its initial report to Florida's governor and state lawmakers by January 1st. Now, the panel highlights some of the problems it says allowed the tragedy. Those include unlocked gates, inadequate security system, and a former school resource officer who failed his duties. And Todd, a case will move forward against that former school resource officer mentioned in the report. Today, a judge in Florida rejected Scott Peterson's request to dismiss a lawsuit against him. A father who lost his daughter in the school shooting sued Peterson. The father argued Peterson neglected his duty to protect his daughter and the other victims the day of the shooting. Now, your weather authority first forecast. Weather-wise, we are tracking a few light showers over spreading portions of northwest Tennessee. That's where those thicker clouds are right now. The rest of us are seeing those clouds streaming in pretty quickly now, and the rain will follow, too, further north of the Tennessee line. Over the last couple of hours, you can see that streaming up into portions of Obion and Weekly counties there, and right along the Henry County line. Not heavy rain, but steadily this will start to pick up and become a little more widespread as we head through the rest of this evening. So as we take a look at the forecast here, very quickly, you can see we will be looking at generally uh, if we'll pop up there. We'll see. There we go. You can see the rest of the overnight. You can see those scattered showers on the increase. Cloudy skies through 11 o'clock, turning a little bit more in the way of rainy uh, weather there as we go through 4 a.m. and sunrise. Many of you are hitting the road for your work day tomorrow. You'll be encountering some of that light rain. We'll track how long it'll stick around coming up in a few minutes. New tonight, Kentucky State Police say this woman threw away a newborn baby outside a home yesterday. 
21-year-old Amber Bowling is charged with murder. This happened in Clay County, about two hours south of Lexington. Troopers say a man living at that home found the baby dead in a trash bag. The baby was no more than a couple of hours old. An autopsy is being done to determine when and how the baby died. In politics tonight, Nancy Pelosi can expect to be elected House Speaker in January, but on term limits. In a written statement today, the Democrat said she is comfortable with a plan that caps her term to four years. Moments after she released that statement, seven rebellious Democrats said they would now back her as House Speaker. We'll cross out Representative Mark Meadows as a possible pick for the next chief of staff. White House spokesperson Sarah Huckabee Sanders said President Trump told Meadows today he wants Meadows to stay in Congress. The Republican from North Carolina was on an initial list of four people the president was considering to replace John Kelly. Trump's first choice, Nick Ayers, pulled himself out of the running on Sunday. The president is expected to announce his decision by the end of the year. Lawmakers wanting to settle a sexual harassment case would have to pay out of pocket. That's in a deal to overhaul the process for handling sexual misconduct accusations in Congress. Republican Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri announced tonight the House and Senate negotiators reached an agreement on the measure today. Blunt says he hopes Congress passes the bill this week. A recall alert. Check your pantry for canned corn. Del Monte Foods, Inc. is recalling more than 64,000 cases of Fiesta corn in 25 states, including Illinois and Missouri. The company says the cans were under process during commercial sterilization. This could lead to contamination and possible life-threatening illness. We posted UPC number and best if used by dates for affected products on WPSTlocal6.com. 87 more people are sick from eating beef products contamina contaminated with salmonella. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say those illnesses come from Michigan, Mississippi, and West Virginia. Now, the CDC says a total of 333 people have gotten sick and 91 have been hospitalized since illnesses began in August. Well, how many acts of kindness can you do for a stranger? Mm -hmm. Local leaders are inviting you to do one act of kindness a day. They launched the 12 Days of Christmas Kindness. As Local 6's Pauline Fitzgerald explains, the hope is that one act by one person will make a world of difference. An act of kindness to spread holiday cheer. We were high for us. In Paducah, Pauline Fitzgerald, WPSD, Local 6. It's not too late to start your acts of kindness. For more information on how to join the movement and for a list of some ideas, go to WPSDLocal6.com and click on this story. A contagious illness is making the rounds this week, strep throat. Two steps to take to keep your family healthy in what's going around. Plus, why the holiday decorations on this well-traveled tunnel are making drivers a little nuts. And a long journey for this rescued pup. What it took to bring him together with this veteran's family ahead of 10. And wet weather is moving in overnight. I'll get you umbrella ready for your Thursday coming up after the break. You're watching Local 6 at 10. Your breaking news and weather authority with Todd Faulkner, Jennifer Horvelt, weather authority Jennifer Rukavina, and Jeff Bidwell Sports. You're watching Local 6 at 10 in high definition. Dayside temperatures actually will run above average, which is about 48 degrees for this time of the year. Okay, Jen, thank you. Yeah. The spirit of giving is alive in our community. So many of you came by our station today to drop off toy donations for our spirit of giving toy drive. All of these toys will go to local children and teens who otherwise may not have received a Christmas gift. With your help, we collected a total of 1,181 toys today. That's great. And they include 30 bicycles and 150 Barbies. The drive is not over. You have until Friday to drop off new unwrapped toys at a Regions Bank near you. You can find more information about this on WPSTLocal6.com. Click on Spirit of Giving Toy Drive. All right, do you see anything wrong with this sign? This is the entrance to the Holland Tunnel in New Jersey. Well, workers decorated it for the holidays, but put the triangular tree on the letter N instead of the letter A. That's <laughs> making some drivers a little nuts to make matters worse. Crews even added a wreath on the letter U, turning tunnel into tonal. Hmm. Ahead of 10, the story behind an 800-mile journey to unite a veteran with a very special dog. The title this surfer hopes to capture and what makes her goal so inspiring and what local doctors are treating this week. That's in What's Going Around next at 10. <laughs> What's Going Around is brought to you by Dino and CPA. 
In this week's What's Going Around, strep throat is a big health threat for many families this week. As Local 6's Stephanie Martinez explains, there are two steps you can take to protect yourself. Pharyngitis and gastroenteritis are what's common for What's Going Around. I'm Stephanie Martinez. A special delivery of more than 800 miles. Volunteers with a nonprofit group flew a rescue dog from Florida to a veteran in Tennessee. Kodak now joins the Bain family, Afghanistan war veteran Joe, his daughter, and four legged vet Inca. The Baines met Inca through the same nonprofit five years ago. Tears came to eyes. You really don't know what to feel. What happens to you is you're like, my best friend's here. My life's here, the person that protected my life, the person that made it to where I could come home to my family is now here taking care of me. The Pilots and Paws nonprofit provides a place for veterans to come together and arrange or schedule rescue flights for free. Happening around the world, this surfer in Spain is training to set a world record. She wants to become Spain's first blind female athlete to enter the World Adaptive Surfing Co Championship in California. The 21-year-old was born with congenital glaucoma and lost her vision completely when she was a child. This taxi driver in Romania is competing with Santa. He delivers treats to children in hospitals. At first, the driver offered candies to his passengers. Then he realized how easily he can just make people happy. All right, now for sports, big night of color troops. Big rivalry game, Murray State and SIU, an ending no one saw coming. Plus, at Louisville, Cardinals had their hands full with Lipscomb. There's Caldwell County grad Eli Pepper. He had six points for the Bison tonight. But Kristen Cunningham hit that jumper with 20 seconds to go to ice it. Louisville wins 72-68. The rest of your night in sports is next. You're watching WPSD Local 6 at 10. Saturday, Murray State, also home Saturday. They will take on Jackson State. How good was John Morant tonight after the game? SIU fans coming out of the crowd mm -hmm. asking for autographs. Oh, wow. wow. So, not a bad night. That's for pretty Mr. cool. Morant. That's different. You got it. Thanks. thanks for watching at 10.